Hello everyone, I am Tharun Samar Naik and this is a presentation on a household appliance that use electronic magnetic principle. So let me go to the device that I have chosen. So the device that I have chosen is an electric motor, a universal motor to be specific. And what is unique about this universal motor is that it can be powered by both AC and DC supply. So the motor that I'm referring to is something like this. So let me show you the actual motor that is inside this specimen. So this is the motor that's inside this. Actually, it has a top casing also. I have removed this. So if you dismantle it, there are basically two parts. So one is the mobile part, which we call the rotor. And the other one is the one that consists of Path that does not move, that is the stator. So, stator consists of basically the brushes. So, the brushes can move because there is a spring, so they can move. And also the magnet, which consists of the coils and some steel. And then we have in the rotor, we have the axle, the commutator, and the armature. So, uh, let's move on to the principle. that are being used. Okay, so the principle that is used, the working principle is, there are two main things, principles that are being adhered to. One is uh, the force acting on a conductor that is placed in a magnetic field. And the other one is the torque ex uh, existing on a conductor loop placed in a magnetic field. So the force is given by VIL sine theta and torque is given by VI in A cos theta. So theta is theta L and theta A have been described here. So B and I are the magnetic density of the magnetic field and I is the current that flows through the conductor. So if you look at the principle, so there is a loop and then we have this magnetic field. So the torque exists. So in order to maximize the torque, so torque is given by V i n a cos theta, theta should be maximum, that should be one. So if cos theta is equal to one, theta should be equal to zero. That means the loop, the plane of the loop should be parallel to the magnetic field. Therefore, it is important to have the magnetic field in a radial direction. That's the reason that we have the magnetic field in a radial manner. And so if you look at this, if we didn't have this, what's the point of having this commutator? So if we, if we don't have this commutator, what will happen is uh, this loop will not be turning a full cycle. It will be only turning a half cycle. So in order to change that from occurring, we have to change the direction of the current. So how do we change the direction of the current? What we do is we have a split. So while this is functioning, uh, well, the loop is rotating because of the splits, they can interchange between the brushes, these brushes. So these brushes and they can change because of these brushes. So the direction of the current can be changed. So, but if you see here in the commutator, there are not two splits, but several of them. So the reason for that is, if you look at here in this position, no current flows through this loop. So therefore, no torque is generated. Therefore, the loop does not move. So in order to stop that from happening, we're using several splits. So that way we can be sure that at every moment, the brush is connected to one loop or several. So by increasing the number of loops also, we can maximize the torque because torque is equal to bi in a cos theta n is the number of loops. So the efficiency also increases. So if you speak about the advantages and the disadvantages, for in order to speak about advantages, we can easily compare the electric powered motor to a gasoline powered one. One main reason is it's noiseless compared to the gasoline powered one, which is very noisy. And the, the next point is energy efficient. So 
gasoline powered ones or fossil fuel powered ones usually generates a lot of noise and a lot of heat but compared to them the electric motor does not uh, generate noise that much therefore the electric power is converted mostly most of the electric power that is being supplied is converted into mechanical energy so since this is using a clean fuel that is electricity instead of a fossil fuel it has relatively low emissions to speak about the disadvantages you can see if you take a closer look at the commutator there is this black line so this black line is because of those compressed carbon blocks right they have been wearing with time so they will be wearing that's why we can have this black line and you can see all over this electric motor that's rusted so because of uh, because it is rusting this will cause this electric motor to dysfunction so that brings us to the end of the presentation thank you for your time